Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. We're, we're closing in on 9k, so if you could press that subscribe button below, a thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. I'm a bit late doing this video, busy morning, you know, stuff to attend, family duty stuff, but it's game day and let's give you some good news and some bad news. Let's kick off with the good news. Koyogo Idaguchi. Hatate haven't been selected for the Japanese squad in the upcoming Asian qualifiers. They're second in the group at the moment. They want to get into the World Cup for the end of the year. But the bad news is Deza Maeda got selected. The boy that scored four minutes of his debut for Celtic the other night against Hibs, the J-League top scorer, he's been selected, unfortunately, for the Samurais. And I wish him the very best. You know, at the end of the day, when you get a call-up for your country, you got to go there and represent them. I know it's on the other side of the world, but the crucial games, they want to be at Qatar 22. And I want them there as well because I'm at the boy in the Japanese jersey. Got Nakamura on the back of it for the laugh. But um, it's good news. Look at Koyogo didn't get selected because he's hamstring injury. He's still a doubt for the derby on the 2nd of February. Idaguchi hasn't been selected over the year. And Atate, he's been called up a couple of times, but he hasn't really featured for the Samurais. So that gives Ange a couple of options. For the crucial games coming up against Hearts, Dundee, you know, I don't know what's the situation with Alloa today and Rangers in the second as well. So, a bit of good news there. Another player that hasn't been called up for an international duty is Cameron Carter Vickers, American international. Wasn't called up for these round of games in um, on the other side of the world, that qualification side. But look at, I'm delighted. We want to get this going in a permanent deal. We keep calling for it. I've said it so many times on this channel. I'm actually getting sick of talking about this right. Six million. Tottenham one for him. Celtic, be ambitious. Try clear out the dead wood before the end of this window. And boy Carter Vickers. And let's deal with Jota in the summer. If we win the league, we'll have enough money to get Jota. And if Benfica try, don't try lure him back from his loan at the moment. They're, the, they're his pairing club. So let's see what happens. Please. Let's just get... Carter Vickers over the line. His relationship with Starfield, with Welch and Beaton, is being brilliant. And then there's going to be another chapter evolved with this with Christopher Julian. So, fingers crossed, it'll be good. Look, at we all know Tom Rogers got selected yesterday for the Soccer Rails. They're obviously toured in their group, the same group as Japan in the Asian qualifiers for Qatar. I wish Tom the very best. You know, he's been vital for the Soccer Rails over the last six years. So, hopefully... He does well, gets a couple of goals in there and fingers crossed he doesn't come back injured because sometimes he's went to the soccer rails, in the, in the, especially in the Brendan Rodgers days, he was picking up injury upon injury, coming back from international duty, so fingers crossed. So let's see what happens today against Alawa. Half five kickoff, I'm predicting 3 0. I done a pre match last night at 2 a.m. in the morning, so have a look at that. It's the video before this and there's a fantastic podcast with Judy Talks. Gas me from a Celtic appreciation and Del O'Reilly from the Celtic supporters page on Facebook. Cracking podcast over an hour and a half last night. Loads that we discussed. Absolute loads. Transfers. Where we progressed on the Ange. Games. January signings from the past that have made an impact at the club. Some memorable games in the Scottish Cup. It's all in there, folks. Keep supporting the page. The comments are really crucial. It gives me the motivation to keep doing what I can do. So I appreciate the support. Subscribe to the channel. And once we get to 9,000, I'm going to start doing giveaways. A couple of retro jerseys will be given away. So share it to a friend. Tell them to get on it. And they might have a chance to win a retro jersey. So there'll be four jerseys given away once I get to the 9,000. From the, the journey of 9,000 up to 10,000, we'll be giving away jerseys. It'll be a, a medium, a small, a large, and an extra large. And I'll pick out some random Celtic jerseys to give away to our lucky subscribers. So, speak to you soon. Be back on later on for post-match reaction. Up the Celts.